Lisa found herself trapped in a narrow passage, barely the size of a rectum. However, just ahead was an exit leading to the blue sky and white clouds. Excitedly, she started crawling forward, but to her surprise, within the next second, a massive 300-ton guillotine gate abruptly blocked her way. What made it even more suffocating was the presence of two more gates, which continuously descended one after another. A slight misstep would result in a gruesome death. Despite realizing that she had no way to retreat, Lisa quickly discovered the pattern of the descending blades. As she counted to the fourth sound, she immediately rushed past the blades at the fastest speed. Unexpectedly, she successfully passed through the first gate. However, when she reached the second gate, she realized that the blades were descending one second faster than before. Fortunately, she gave her all and managed to make it through. Yet, when she looked at the last gate, she found that the blades paused for only two seconds. It was impossible for an ordinary person to escape unscathed. With the exit almost within reach, Lisa took a leap of faith. She stared intently at the blades, silently counted to two, and then swiftly dashed forward. Despite her exhaustion, she crawled toward the exit and ultimately regained her freedom, even though she had lost one of her feet. But then, as Lisa reached out her hand to touch the opening, she discovered that the exit was merely a virtual LCD screen. She completely broke down, realizing that her fate had been predetermined since the moment she lay on the road. Just one day earlier, she had lain alone in the middle of the road, ready to be taken away by passing cars. However, just as a vehicle was about to run over her body, Lisa suddenly changed her mind about ending her life. Faced with the driver's kind inquiry, she lied, claiming that she had accidentally fallen. The driver, seeing Lisa's forlorn state, offered to give her a ride home. Little did she know that this ride would lead to her ultimate downfall. When Lisa regained consciousness from her faint, she found herself trapped in a small secret room. She immediately called for help through the holes in the walls but received no response. Desperately, she tried to open the steel door, only to notice the glowing bracelet on her wrist. Suddenly, the steel door behind her opened, revealing a seemingly endless passage. Curiously, she entered it, but within the next second, the door closed automatically. Helplessly, Lisa continued crawling along the passage. However, not long after, Lisa witnessed a scene that would forever haunt her. A charred corpse stood in her way, forcing her to endure the pungent smell as she dragged the body behind her. Just as she caught her breath, she noticed an unsettling countdown appearing on her bracelet. She hurriedly crawled forward, only to be blocked by a barrier. She exerted all her strength but couldn't open it. At that moment, the bracelet suddenly turned blue, indicating less than one minute remaining. Suddenly, numerous red pipes emerged from the walls of the passage, continuously spraying out high-temperature flames. Lisa immediately realized the origin of the charred corpse. She struggled desperately but to no avail. Unexpectedly, a hidden space appeared in the passage behind her. Without much thought, she quickly retreated and entered the small room. Shortly after, a transparent glass sealed the room. As the countdown reached zero, scorching flames engulfed the entire passage. When the flames subsided, the iron door slowly opened, and a new countdown silently began. Lisa finally realized that she was trapped in an escape room game. Whenever the countdown reached zero, a deadly flame attack occurred in the passage. She wanted to take a break, but the walls forcibly pushed her forward. Helplessly, she continued her journey. However, before she could crawl a few steps, the floor beneath her suddenly opened, revealing a pool of unknown green liquid. Lisa tore off a piece of cloth from her clothes and cautiously placed it in the liquid below. After a burst of smoke, the cloth instantly dissolved. It seemed to be a vat of concentrated sulfuric acid, capable of dissolving anything. In order to pass through this area, she had to press her limbs tightly against the walls of the passage and move forward slowly like a frog. Just as Lisa was about to make it through successfully, her knee slipped, causing excruciating pain. Enduring the agony, she continued to crawl forward. Then, the next second, she heard a man's cry for help. Lisa immediately followed the sound and found the man, but they were separated by a barrier. The man was trapped on the other side, screaming in pain. It seemed that he had been trapped here for a long time. Lisa tried to calm the man down, but the next second, the alarm on her bracelet sounded again. Countless flamethrowers emerged from the pipes, and a white compartment appeared in the middle of the passage. Both of them instantly realized that their only chance of survival was to hide inside. As the iron door opened, they desperately crawled towards the compartment. However, just as they were about to enter, the man suddenly grabbed Lisa's neck. Lisa quickly punched him in the abdomen, and after a struggle, she kicked the man out of the compartment and firmly stomped on his arm. When the countdown ended, the glass door suddenly closed, severing the man's arm, and the red pipe sprayed out intense flames. When Lisa regained consciousness, she found that the compartment had unexpectedly enlarged several times, and a mechanical skeleton appeared above in the corner. Lisa was too scared to move, but to her surprise, the skeleton miraculously healed her leg injury. It then inserted a tube into the interface of her clothes. 
In an instant, Lisa's lost memories reappeared before her eyes. It turned out that the man she fought with was the kidnapper who had abducted her that day. During their struggle, a rotating light spot suddenly appeared in the sky. When they woke up again, they were trapped in this endless winding passage. Could it be that they were abducted by aliens? In her confusion, she picked up the man's severed arm and discovered a string of strange symbols beneath the bracelet. However, before she had time to contemplate, a rapidly rotating fan suddenly appeared ahead in the passage. The fan approached quickly, instantly pulverizing the man's arm. Luckily, at the last moment, Lisa managed to escape into the upper passage, but before she could rejoice, an unknown creature suddenly emerged behind her. She was immediately frightened and sprinted forward, with the creature relentlessly chasing her. The exit was within sight, not far ahead, but in front of her were several rows of spiked iron wires. At the same time, the bracelet started another urgent countdown, and numerous flamethrowers poised to attack emerged from above the passage. Faced with the approaching creature, Lisa didn't have time to think. She rushed forward, but this time, she wasn't fortunate enough to escape. With the exit and the blue sky almost within reach, it was already too late. Suddenly, a steel door opened below the passage, saving her life once again. But when she regained consciousness, she realized that she had returned to the starting point. Lisa was filled with despair and was on the verge of giving up on life. However, at that moment, she suddenly understood the true meaning of the symbols on the man's arm. She remembered encountering the forked paths in the passage, and these symbols were likely the code guiding them to turn left or right. The realization sparked a renewed hope for survival within Lisa, with the experiences from previous trials. She was able to navigate through each obstacle with ease, avoiding the fiery ovens and crossing the bottomless water tanks. She arrived once again at the terrifying acid pool. Deciding to take a risk, she used sulfuric acid to slowly dissolve her bracelet. Sure enough, she discovered a string of symbols on her own hand as well, indicating progress. The tasks that followed became much easier. When she reached the forked paths, she decisively chose the right path based on the symbol's guidance. She quickly arrived at the final forked path. However, just as Lisa was about to enter the right passage, she heard a familiar cry coming from the left passage. Her daughter appeared before her, pulling Lisa's hand without looking back, and they entered the left passage together. It was at this moment that Lisa suddenly snapped out of her daze. She looked at the bracelet in her hand and realized that the girl in front of her was not real. It turned out that her daughter had tragically died from a fall several years ago due to her own negligence. Lisa looked at her daughter with sorrow and ultimately made the painful decision to let go. Finally, she entered the right passage. After passing through three continuously descending blades, she finally reached the exit that led to freedom. However, when she reached out to touch it, she discovered that the so-called exit was nothing more than a cold, lifeless screen. Just as she was despairing, believing that she would eventually die there, a beam of light suddenly shone on her face. Her body floated up and was gradually enveloped by the light. When she regained consciousness once again, she found herself no longer in the dim passage but on an otherworldly planet, resembling a paradise. And to her surprise, her daughter was alive and standing beside her. Perhaps the pain of losing her daughter had made her give up hope of staying alive, but the alien beings, through Lisa's journey of survival, had given her the courage to start anew. Just like her final question to her daughter, what do we need to do next? The answer was, to live. That's the end of the movie. I'm movie lover. We'll see you next time.